we're going to take a look at The Full House now. Apart from being an awesome TV show in the 80s, it's also a hand you can get in poker, and it's quite rare and lucky if you get it. We're going to talk about what it is and the probability and odds of getting it. So this is for simple 5 card draw poker where there are no extra cards and no community cards. You might want to watch our permutations and combinations tutorials first in order to fully understand the calculation. Disclaimer, we do not encourage gambling. Remember, the house always wins. Here we go. So what is a full house? A full house is when you get three of a kind of one rank and two of a kind of another. And that's it, okay? Five cards made up in that way. So how many combinations are possible for a full house? Let's take a look. First thing we need to choose our first rank, which we have 13 to choose from, 13 C1. And then we're gonna choose three out of the four available cards. So four C3. We now choose our second rank, of which there are 12 left. That's gonna be 12 C1. And within those, we're going to choose two out of the four cards available. So here we've chosen two queens, where we could have had a choice of four. Four, C, two. Evaluating these, 13, C1 is 13. Four, C3 is four. 12, C1 is 12. And four, C2, I know, is six. And evaluating this, you're going to get 3,744 hands. Almost 4,000 possible full house hands. You might be curious, is there another way to get this answer? There is. Uh, straight away you can choose your two ranks first. Out of the 13 ranks, choose the two ranks straight away. 13 C2. And then you've got four available and we choose three for the three of a kind. Four C3. And then we choose two out of four for our two of a kind over here. Four C2. But this is not quite finished. Since these two situations are different, we've got three of a kind here, two of a kind here, we actually have to take into account the flipping version as well, which is going to be double. So you're going to multiply that by two or factorial two. Evaluating this, 13 C2 is factorial 13 over factorial 11 times factorial two. Four C3 is four, four C2 is six, and two factorial is two. What does this become? 13 factorial and 11 factorial cancel, leaving 13 times 12 on the top. And the 2 over here cancels with the 2 factorial, leaving 13 times 12 times 4 times 6, which is equal to this expression, equaling 3,744 hands again. Same answer, different way. Are you ready to look at the probability and odds of getting a full house? Let's do it. So we have 3,744 possible full houses. For five card poker, we're going to write that up here. But I'm going to write it like this, using this factored form, because we're going to cancel a whole bunch of stuff. So the total number of possible hands divided by the total possible number of poker hands, this is 52C5. We're dividing by this so it gets flipped and multiplying. 47 factorial cancels, leaving the 52 times 51 times 50 times 49 times 48 down the bottom. Factorial 5 comes over here, and our 3,744 in blue comes down here. So let's see what cancels. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 fours are 48. We also have 5 times 2, which cancels with 10. The 50 becomes a 5. What else? Uh, we've also got 13 goes into 13 once. 13 goes into 52 four times. We also have 3 goes into 6 twice. 3 goes into 51 17 times. We also have 4 goes into 4 once, and 4 goes into 12 three times. Some pretty serious cancelling there. What are we left with? 3 times 2 on the top, and on the bottom, 17 times 5 times 49. Evaluating this, 6 stays on the top, and on the bottom we get our old friend, if you've watched a few of these presentations already, the number 4165, which does come up a fair bit. Doing the division and multiplying by 100 to get a percent, we're going to get 0.14%, which is very minute. So there's a probability of getting a full house. Pretty rare. Almost one-tenth of a percent. Not going to happen very often. Let's take a look at the odds of it happening now. So for every 4,165 hands in five-card poker, you can expect to get six full houses on average. 
So looking at that as odds, for every six full houses you get, and doing the subtraction here, you could expect to get 4,159 hands that will not be a full house. Dividing both of these by six, you're gonna end up with 693.2 to one, almost 700 to one. So there you go, the number of full house hands that are possible in five card poker and the probability and odds of them happening. Thanks for watching.